Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian, back with another science short. And today we get to look at one of my favorites, invisible ink. Does it work? Can you make it at home? And the answer to both of those questions is yes. And I'm going to show you four different ways to leave messages in invisible ink for your friends and your family. Our first example of invisible ink today is going to use an onion. So I have about half of an onion and I'm gonna cut it into some very tiny slices and then I'm gonna cut those into cubes and then we're gonna use this fancy dancy tool I have to kind of make onion juice. Um, so here we go, cutting into smaller pieces. Okay, we'll save the rest of that in case we need more juice. Now this is actually a garlic press and it has these tiny little holes um, that we're gonna basically squish the onion through. All right, so I'm gonna load that up and then into my tiny dish, we're gonna squish. Mmm, delicious onion juice. And we will do that a couple more times. Gotta clear out our garlic press here real quick and then we're going to reload it with more onion. Okay now once you have enough of the onion juice I'm going to take a toothpick I'm going to get it really saturated with that onion juice and then I am going to write something on this sheet of paper. It's a little difficult to see what I'm writing uh, because it's you know invisible ink but we're going to give it our best shot. You can see I wrote onion down in the bottom of the paper because we're going to have four different sheets here and I want to make sure I remember how to reveal the ink for each different kind. All right, so that is our onion sheet. And on to invisible ink number two. This one you may have heard about. We are going to use a lemon for this one. I don't need anything fancy like a garlic press for a lemon because it's way juicier than an onion. So I'm just gonna cut it up into eighths here and we're gonna be able to squeeze those out and use the lemon juice pretty much in the same way that we did with our onion juice. Okay, we're gonna squeeze out that lemon so much easier. I can do it by hand. And once we have enough lemon juice, we'll be able to do the same thing that we did with our onion juice. We're gonna bring back that toothpick and we are gonna write ourselves a secret message on a piece of white paper. And with all of the first three ways that we're looking at invisible ink, we are going to make sure that they dry all the way. So when you're done writing with each of these juices, you're gonna to wanna to set them aside until they are completely dry before we can reveal what they say. Okay, invisible ink number three. We are gonna take just some regular water and I'm gonna kind of eyeball about a teaspoon of baking soda. So I'm gonna put in a little bit more. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna stir that together. We're gonna to mix it until all of the solids are completely dissolved within that water. So we're going to stir until we can't see the white powder anymore. And that's how we'll know that this invisible ink is ready to use. All right, it has all been dissolved. This time I'm going to use a paintbrush and I'm going to write a message on a white sheet of paper just like we did with the onion juice and the lemon juice. And I'll use my baking soda solution as the invisible ink for this one. And once those papers are 100% dry, I'm gonna bring them back over here where I have, it's like a hot plate. So basically like a stove top. You can also use a hair dryer. I just didn't happen to have one of those in the maker space. So this has warmed up and I am going to take my paper over the top and we are gonna see if it is going to reveal any secret messages to us. So this is the onion sheet. And you can see I'm not putting it right on top. I'm just loosely holding it so the heat can work its magic over the paper. And that didn't take very long at all. And my secret message <laughs> of what I wrote with, onion, uh, you can see gets revealed pretty quickly. Cool. Okay, next up is 
lemon juice. We're going to take a look and see how that does. And while we're looking at that, why does this work? Well, the juice that we used both have carbon in them, and they're absorbed into the paper's fibers. But when we heat it back up, some of the chemical bonds start to break, which cuts the carbon loose. And when that comes into contact with air, it oxidizes. And a side effect of oxidation is turning brown. Think about if you've ever left an apple slice out on the counter, and when you come back to eat it later, it starts to turn brown. That's just oxidation in a different form. Our third invisible ink sample is a little different. We're going to use turmeric and some rubbing alcohol. We're going to mix these together, half glass of rubbing alcohol, half cup of rubbing alcohol, and a teaspoon of turmeric. And then we're going to paint it over what we wrote. And it should react with the baking soda and show us what we wrote. This one's going to look a little different than the other one. So I'm going to stir this up. And then I'm going to use this paintbrush to reveal our secret message. And then we'll take a look at our fourth sample. All right, here we go. Turmeric and rubbing alcohol does not smell good, but we'll see if it will reveal a secret message. It paints on pretty good. It looks a lot like a watercolor. You guys see anything starting to come out? I think I might. Got that all painted over. Okay. And, ta-da! <laughs> It ends up turning what we wrote with the baking soda and water almost, almost a red color. But Carrie, you might be thinking, you said there were four different ways you were going to show us. And there are. On this piece of paper, I have just used a white crayon to make a design. I am going to show you a real easy way that you can reveal what has been written in white crayon on white paper. This is a fun one too. I'm just going to use regular old watercolor paints. And as you paint over the white crayon, the wax in the crayon is going to resist the water in the watercolor paint. And so whatever you wrote won't take on the paint and will be revealed. This one is called just a simple wax resist. And there we go, secret message revealed. And there you go, four different ways that you can experiment with invisible ink. I hope one of those will work out for you. Thanks for following along and I hope to see you back next time for another science short.